Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video on VHDL implementation of bits based multiplier design. So in my previous video you have gone through that I will be telling that I will be designing a multiplier. So as usual I have taken a basic multiplier from <laughs> Google. You can go for, go, go for Google and you can find a basic multiplier structure, a 4 bit multiplier. So for that multiplier I have designed a half adder, full adder and and get you can pause my video and you can have a look of each and every full adder half adder how i have implemented it then let us see i have taken an intermediate signals as usual you can see here i have taken some intermediate signals and first of all i have implemented it by using a and get simple and get i have taken entity and then i have implemented it then i have taken a and gate and then two and gates and a half adder similarly you can able to see that the two and gates have taken and a half adder then the third one is three and gates and one full adder and half adder i have implemented so similarly i have implemented each and every part you can go here and you can have a look of the code if you want any code which you, which you have to implement you can watch my previous videos on this channel only on this channel i have implemented a basic and gates basic logic gates and half adder and full adder same those half adders and full adders i have implemented it here okay you can it can be able to see in the i button you will be finding a i button where i will be making everything in my video as you can able to see in this video there will be coming an i button so in those i buttons i will be giving these three links and also in description i will be providing you these three links let us i have ex executing this so i am giving some random values for these two values and I am verifying whether, whether multiplication is going successfully or not. So these values are nothing but 10 and 50, 10 by the 150, nothing but. So 150, 182 I have got that is a wrong value. So we have done something mistake here. So we have to find out it and then again if we keep the C proper signals then we are getting C. So we have got 10 pi the 50, okay, right? We have implemented it properly. So 80, we can't implement 84 digit. You have to keep in mind that the value should be appropriate. So I am giving some random values and then I am testing it. So 20 is also not a 4 digit. A 10 tens a 100, that is a 4 digit. So similarly, you can have a look. You can go through this video and have a look of this video. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts or any clarification, if you want any clear information, just subscribe my video and comment below. Then I will be telling how to do this. Everything is not free now. So that's the reason. I charge but I genuinely speak that I will be supporting you throughout this project. So thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video and there will be some modifications in the video going on you can able to see that so some mod after this modification we get a perfect value i have got a proper perfect value you can able to see in my next videos also if you have not seen the previous video why i am designing it why i have done it you can't able to understand just go back to my first video part one and then have a look of second video thank you for watching this video have a nice day keep subscribe like comment and share thank you